not a feminist, but I really enjoyed this. Blatant wom womanizer Damien gets knocked into a parallel universe after hitting his head. His new reality has him occupying the societal gender roles of the disenfranchised woman he used to enjoy taking advantage of all these years. 2018's I'm Not an Easy Man is about how he navigates this foreign powerlessness and the feelings that come with it as a self-proclaimed masculinity. When dealing with, among other things, the female version of himself, it's so much fun seeing a man on the back foot emotionally. And Vincent Elba really sold this to me. It was perfectly casted to the point where I can't imagine anyone else taking on this role. His frustration was visceral. I enjoyed watching his torture so much that it made me miss for a split second the roller coaster of emotions that come from an entangled situation. Oh, I'm such a sucker for a pining man. What a joy to watch. And Marie Sophie Saldan gave as good as she got to. The game of wills these two put each other through is big. Masculinist versus feminine. Just a masculinist is exciting to me in this film because that's what he is. He's not really anti-feminist. At least I don't think so. There needs to be an awareness of the state of the opposing side to be anti-something. Even sans empathy. Sometimes, in my opinion. Does that make sense? It's a working theory. That man to me is just so completely self-involved and focused on his own victimhood that he's blissfully unaware of how his former oppressor self was and can go back to alienating the woman he used to objectify. And because of this, perhaps we should look into the distinction of masculinism and anti-feminism in society a little closer because I think there might be a missed learning and teaching moment here. Perhaps there is room for masculine self-pride down the line in a society where feminine oppression no longer exists. The back of house here was meticulous. I couldn't find anything in the world they created that brought me back to the patriarchal one we live in, visually and auditorially. And, it, and did I mention relentless? Every line of the dialogue was inverted, along with every element of the society you would find to be rife for sexism, patriarchy, etc. They did not miss a beat. I'm shook. It was so interesting what they chose to invert too. Everything material gets changed, but everything biological doesn't. The women still carry the baby, but ballet culture and other traditionally feminine gender roles and ex experiences get carried by the men. I'd love to be a fly on the wall of that writer's room. Speaking of which, bravo to the writer's room. This presentation made me want to put Jackie in a woman's kingdom to the top of my legs to watch this. They left I Am Not An Easy Man on a cliffhanger. I mean, the film is complete as is. They don't have to add any more nuance to this masterpiece, but I. I do think they left us with a what if there at the end when Alex wakes up after being hit, head butted by Damien in a world we all love to hate. And I'm so curious now how she would react to this one. I mean, I don't have to imagine because diehard feminists already exist, but still, I can suppose as the relationship dynamic they set up is so compelling. That ending created an itch for me. Most of all, the biggest question mark this film opened for me is about the protagonist. Did he learn his lesson? Is he going to continue the misogyny? Or did his fever dream change him for the better? Everybody needs to see this. Absolutely everyone. At least once. I cannot stress this enough. I hope academic papers get written about this film alone. 100 out of 5. Thank you for joining me on this journey.